Hi folks, Craig Suriani, Craig Suriani Vocal Studios. I have another before and after video. Who doesn't love before and after videos? I thought it might be time to put another video up and this one seemed like a very good choice tonight. This is a student I've had for about five months and I'll let the video do the talking. The first one is a video that you'll hear of this student actually singing at the university before he met me. And the second video you'll hear me speaking to him live during a lesson, asking him to verify that that's the video you just heard and that that was actually him, and then I'll play you what we've accomplished in about five months or so. Give this a listen. Here is an excerpt that he recorded. Now what you just heard is a perfect example of most university training. Mostly what you're hearing is the lack of chest voice. This is the way they train at most universities. This is what you're paying for, folks. Okay, now, same student, and I'm going to try to adjust the volume and balance this a little bit equally because the videos are not the same volume. Same student five months later, folks. Okay. Can you please verify that that was indeed you singing that excerpt from Brahms live at your university? Yes, it was. All right, very good. Now, you've been with me for, I counted, I went back in the book, we've been together for about five months. Five months, yeah. All right, let's take, let's, uh, let's have you sing an excerpt from uh, Butterfly, just one line. Give me, uh, <laughs> non rego al tuo squalora sono do that do that last uh that B flat without the breath. Okay. Sorry for the little dropout, folks. Blame Skype for that toward the end. But I'm sure you heard enough of that phrase to hear the incredible before and after difference that this kind of training makes. Let me refer back to my notes for a second. Um, the video says it all. That's what your $60,000 a year will buy for you in most university settings, this kind of training. Now, is it that way everywhere? No. Not necessarily. I have some very good friends who went off to teach at university and they are performing teachers. They're at school half the year, the rest of the time they take time off to go and perform on stage. That's the kind of teacher you want folks. Again, if your teacher is not one of those performing teachers, then it's a teacher that is not going to the opera, is staying in the studio, is not aware of what kind of training is required to fill a 1,000, 2,000, 3,000, and so on seat auditorium. I have several students in the States and in abroad that are currently attending university. Uh, and I need to share this gem with you, okay? You've heard me rant and rave about some of the crazy things I've heard teachers tell students at the university level about training and about vocal technique. This was so stupid that there was no way I couldn't share this with you. I have a student who is currently at a university, I won't say where, and after some training with me, the obvious results were all over the school. The students were noticing it, so was this particular singer's teacher. And the teacher says to the student, after hearing the difference, this is great, you're going to love this, says, you know, that's a much better sound. And everything you're doing really, really sounds correct. However, 
the thing is, we really don't need to go old school anymore, okay? What was laid down by Caruso, Gili, you know, and then after him, uh, Delmonico, Corelli, those guys all sang too dark and worked too hard. So we don't really need to do that anymore. It's a new age. We can forget all of that old training and get on board with the new training. Okay, that was... I literally was speechless. I couldn't believe that anything that stupid would ever come out of any university professor's mouth. That's what you're dealing with out there, folks. That's not me. That's them. And that's almost a direct quote. So if you're wondering why we're in the state that we're in, training-wise, another great example, that particular gem of knowledge I just shared with you. If you're one of those students who already knows in your heart that you're not getting the kind of training that sounds like what you listen to when you listen to your favorite singers, or even worse, if you're one of those students who's got a teacher who does not teach the way they sing, and I hear this all the time from a lot of university students that I have, now is the time to start finding somebody else to work with outside the university. A few words about COVID while I'm here. My heart goes out to all of you singers. Uh, many of you who are out of work, trust me, that's got to be the most horrible thing ever. I mean, everybody's out, many people are out of work du during COVID. But, you know, especially the opera house is being closed. Okay, so right now, what are our only choices? Now, COVID is going to leave eventually. Okay, and the houses are going to reopen. My question to you is, are you using the downtime right now to hone your skills and hone your chops and get your voice and your technique straight? Because when the houses do open, there's going to be an onslaught of people looking for work and they're going to be headed right for the opera companies. Are you going to be ready for that? Please don't waste your time during COVID not doing anything, not training with the right person. Please find yourself a teacher who has got stage experience and actually had a career. I know I rant and rave about this in every video, but every time I hear an insanely stupid story from a university professor like the one I just shared with you about how we don't have to look at the old school singers anymore because that was just then and they worked too hard and we don't need to make that sound anymore. Uh, that's why we're in the shape we're in, folks. Um, I want to thank all the subscribers, by the way, too. Um, it's been wonderful seeing you all show up lately. Um, the comments have been wonderful. The subscriptions that keep going up all the time. I'm very, very grateful for that. I thought you would enjoy another before and after video of the kind of work that Lamonico method can do for your voice. That being said, I'll just let the video speak for itself. And again, thank you for watching the videos. Thank you for all the wonderful comments and the subscriptions and more videos to come in the future. Thanks again.